What's up guys? Check this out. It goes maybe like half a mile that way like this. Hundreds of thousands of containers all stacked up. Hey guys, this is all empty containers. Going back, all the way back there. And it's all one shipping line, Yang Ming. I don't know what's going on with the Yang Ming vessel, but maybe they're going bankrupt or something, but nothing is shipping with Yang Ming. No exports, barely any imports coming in. Well, actually a lot of imports are coming in, but basically nothing's coming out. Back to China or whatever Yang Ming goes to. Really quick in here. Actually, I really like this place. Waiting for that guy to come back. He's gotta put the 20 footer over there. Come back and put my container up there. And we'll be out of here. Man, they messed up this yard so bad. This was a nice yard. All their semi trucks were parked here. Well guys, we're just ending the Friday here. He is sourcing out our container. We're just pulling for Monday. This is actually the new terminal that they just finished. You can see the big cranes they brought over overseas on the other side of this pile. Well guys, it's a nice Saturday morning. Got the airline hooked up to my truck to run the gun. Got the wheel off, got all the bolts off and dropped it down and ready to pull it out. Just waiting on the tow truck. But the drop axle is sold to a local guy over here for 1900 bucks. Man, we really had to jack this truck up just to lift it up to get the drop axle out. He's recording me, I'm recording him. <laughs> He's got his channel. But yeah, um... Uh, and we removed the drive line as well just so we have room to clear it clear it out now should slide out evenly to the side with no problem and guys see we got to connect it over here to my rear tank all i did was grab the uh i believe it's a quarter inch fitting or quarter and pt or whatever they call it to run to the to this big fat hose so we could run the airline so guys what are we doing with the engine? I mean, if you guys just look at this engine, you could tell how clean it is. You could even see it's been painted because everything's been taken apart, guys. I got in contact with a &P, which is Atlantic and Pacific Freightways. They go coast to coast. That's the company who had this truck its whole life. And guys, they gave me so many service records. They dumped so much money into this truck just $21,000 they dumped a year ago into uh, the transmission. So they put in a new reman transmission, which comes red. I'll show you guys under here. Got a new 18 speed manual transmission. That was part of the $21,000 they spent. And then all new diffs, completely new diffs and they are locking diffs too. They've got full lockers in them. So yeah, that means guys, our plan is probably just to do that one cylinder. That's bad. We're gonna check all the rods and mains, have the shop do all that. I already ordered a new cylinder head that should be here next week. Cause these reman cat cylinder heads, they're problematic. They, it looks like it dropped the valve, which messed up the liner and the piston. But since this engine has been overhauled two to three years ago, and we're just gonna do that one cylinder and we're gonna check out the rest of them of course the rest of the liners and pistons see how they are but judging from opening up the head and the bottom end the oil pan everything looks in just almost brand new condition how we get in this drop axle out we just chaining it up and dragging it on the jack one side the other side still on the wheel and it's out Yep, and there she is. That's how you take off a drop axle. Now we got a piece of frame on here. That's it, it's all strapped down. It fits perfectly between the rails and you just throw on the regular car wheel strap 
it's my buddy's company cts you guys uh ever need towing around washington area hit him up he does really good deals will hook you guys up that's it guys well and there she is guys is getting cleaner and cleaner every time we do something now we got a good piece of frame it is 265 inch wheelbase drop axle is gone it's getting there slowly but surely and of course there's the Kenworth and there's the Pete made an appointment next week end of next week they want the truck and said we'll start working on it even though I already disassembled all the rockers and jakes uh, just the camshaft is left in the head they just got to pull off the head and pull off the rods and mains and pull out the liner the old liner that cracked and replace it and fix it yeah guys we're just gonna do one cylinder and we'll see how it runs so hope everybody has a good weekend like comment subscribe try to get you guys out better content but as soon as the weather warms up we're gonna start getting the truck in good good condition back to good condition paint polish and all the body work on it well of course guys can never have too many projects since i'm done with the malibu boat project we picked up this one for 900 bucks it was overheating we re so far replaced the thermostat and threw on the new water pump hopefully that solves the issue if anything if it is the head gaskets it's still pretty easy to pull them off since it's a push rod there's no timing needed for the heads should be an easy head gasket swap and the body on it is just clean really clean body got some nice vinyl interior it's got five speed manual it's a v6 v6 3.0 it's a two-wheel drive the guy literally spent almost a thousand dollars on four new tires and all the new wheel bearings and i then he let this go for 900 bucks all because it was overheating what did i find i found whoever replaced the thermostat didn't put it in correctly. There was no gasket. It was leaking water out of there. We took off the water pump. Didn't look that great. It looked like it was leaking also because when I went and put in uh, in coolant, well, I put in water and it started leaking somewhere, either the thermostat or the water pump, but it looked like it was coming from the water pump down. So I think we might have solved the water, the overheating issue, but other than that, it ran really good i even took a test drive yesterday the gears everything shifts really smoothly and who knows this is a easy three four thousand dollar truck once fixed up it's a clean title as well so for the water pump the gasket and the thermostat guys the parts for this thing is cheap i paid under a hundred dollars it was like 98 97 dollars for all of it thermostat was was like 25 bucks i believe which was probably the most that thing was like 55 dollars if i'm not mistaken but there's the old one still gotta throw on the fan and she's ready to start it up yeah. 